Mitten, and today I'm going to show you how to attach the shawl collar to the Carolyn shawl sleeve sweater. Right now we're at the point where we sewed our front and back right sides together along the shoulders and then I base stitched just the bottom two to three inches on the left side, across the bottom, and up the right side and I used a 3 8 inch seam allowance and then I took my tiny scissors and I just cut close to the corner so this can make a little flap. We just wanted some to ease some tension in here. Um, that'll help as we attach our collar. So once we pinned where the center of the shawl collar is to the back center neckline, we're going to take this collar and we're gonna start wrapping it around towards the front of the sweater and we're gonna pin as we go. And we're just gonna do one side at a time. And when you get to the bottom, you're gonna want the corner of your basting stitches right there to match up with the corner of your basting stitches on the front of the shirt. And that's gonna be your stopping point, this exact point right here where it makes a corner. So when you go to attach this in a second, we're actually gonna stop right there. And then we're gonna pivot our sweater to continue attaching the rest. So I have one more pin to go. And then I'm actually going to stop here and I'm gonna go sew from the center back all the way down to the center front right where those two corners intersect. I'll be right back. I'm over at my sewing machine and I just started sewing down the shawl collar, attaching it to the um, front of the sweater. And I'm gonna show you, once you get down here, you're actually gonna stop right there. So just slowly sew to continue using a 3 8 inch seam allowance. And once you get to the bottom, At that point of the corner, you're gonna stop and you're gonna take your pin out and leave your um, sewing needle in your fabric. Now you're gonna lift. Now you're gonna lift your presser foot and you're gonna turn this fabric because we need to be able to sew straight across the bottom edge. And then you're gonna turn your collar fabric. You're just gonna twist it. So you're gonna flatten out the fabric underneath it, laid out real straight and you're going to move your collar down like that. It's okay if it does not come all the way to the edge because as you do your next side, it'll close that gap right there. So all we do is we press down our presser foot and then we're gonna sew using the 3 8 inch seam allowance again. You can sew along your base stitch. And when you get to the end, back stitch. Now you can look at your first side. See, that's your shawl collar. All right, we're gonna go pin the other side. And now I just pinned from the center back on the right hand side all the way down to the bottom edge. And once again, we're gonna stop at that corner. So you're gonna take your basted stitch and you're gonna find your corner right there and you're gonna match it all the way to the basted stitch down here and you're gonna meet the corners. And once again, that's gonna be your stopping point. So we're gonna go sew from the center back all the way down this side using a 3 8 inch seam allowance and we're gonna stop right there at that point and leave our needle in the fabric. Okay, so once again, we're back at the sewing machine and we just sewed down the other side of the collar and we're, we have our needle in the point in the corner point where our basting stitches intersect. I'm just gonna lift my presser foot and I'm going to turn this collar because we want this to overlap this collar. There we go. See how it's nice and straight across? So we're just gonna lower our presser foot 
and we're gonna sew across. Once you turn it right side out and give it a good steam, you should see that your shawl collar is squared off. And if you missed an edge, you just flip it right back inside out and you can go right back under your basting stitch just to make sure that you got it. So that's how you attach the collar.